Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use Google Meet, sometimes called Google Hangouts Meet. Now, this is pretty much the same on iOS and Android, and I'm gonna show you the mobile version of this app in this video. I have a different video on the desktop version. That's at meet.google.com, where you could access that on your desktop. Now, what's sometimes confusing is right now, while I'm recording this, there's another application by Google called Google Hangouts. Google Meet is a different application. They're pretty much similar, so one of them is probably gonna go away at some point, but right now the difference is Google Meet, anybody could join a meeting, but not anybody could host a meeting. In order to host a meeting, you need a paid G Suite account, a basic account. I believe it's less than $10, but you can host a meeting with Google Hangouts, but it's a little bit limited. You don't have closed captioning. You're only limited to 25 people, but if you want to have a meeting with more than 25 people, you'll need Google Meet. And you could sign up for that at meet.google.com. But right now, I just wanna show you three things in this video. How to join a meeting with Google Meet. Again, anybody could do this, you don't have to pay. Then I wanna show you all the features that Google Meet has, the application on the phone. And then finally, I'll show you how to host your own meeting. I have a paid G Suite account, so I'll show you that at the end. Right now, let's jump into the phone. Again, the application in the App Store is called Google Hangouts Meet. And on the desktop is meet.google.com. And once you open it, I'll press continue here on the home page, and I'll give it access to my camera and my microphone. It will need to do that because it's a virtual meeting app. And then you'll have to press sign in on this page. And you'll have to choose one of your Google accounts here. If you don't have a Gmail or if you don't have a Google account, you could just go ahead and sign up by pressing add another account or sign up here. I'll just choose one of my pre-existing one, just a regular Google account, not a paid one. And now I'm inside of Google Meet. So let me show you, you could turn your mic on and off. That's this option. I haven't joined any meeting, so no one's looking at what I'm doing here. You could turn off your video. Now when you turn off your video, no one's gonna be able to see you. So as soon as I join a meeting, they're gonna be able to hear me and not see me. So if that's what you wanna do, you could do that or turn both off and then turn them on when you join the meeting. That's pretty much all that there is on this page plus the option to enter a meeting code. So at this point, I want to enter a meeting code. I can't create my own meeting yet because I don't have the paid account. Here is just to join a meeting. So the meeting code comes from the organizer of the meeting, someone with the G Suite account that set this up. So I already know this because they send this to me via email. So I'm gonna type it in. I'll show you when I host my own meeting where I got this number if someone doesn't know where to get it to give it to you. So this is what the code that I received looks like. I put the dashes in. Right now, if someone invites you, for example, from a desktop, it's meet.google.com slash this code. That's where that code came from, from that website URL. So I could press join meeting here. And right now the meeting that I'm running is on my desktop. So I invited myself to a meeting. So that website or whoever is inviting you is gonna get a notification that someone's trying to join that meeting and they have to press okay for you to join the meeting. But as you could see, so let me go ahead and press my name here and it's gonna give me that option to turn the camera back on. So here, I just turned the camera back on. I could again mute myself, I could turn off the camera, but you basically have to select yourself here on top and then press the screen here to get these options here. You could hang up in the center and you have a few other options on top. You have closed captioning. If I turn that on, it's gonna basically have subtitles for what I'm saying, very useful. Let me go ahead and turn that off here. Then you have the three dots, if you press those, could switch the camera to the front facing camera. So I could go ahead and do that. And let me go ahead and switch camera here. And it just turns the camera. I could switch it back. Again, I could go ahead and turn on captions. I could present my screen. If I press that, it's gonna ask me to present my screen. Now this doesn't work for all phones. This has to be a later phone and a later iOS or Android version on your phone for it to happen. So test it out, see if it works. And then you could say start broadcast. Right now I'm recording my phone so it won't work, but that's how you share your phone screen with someone in the meeting if you're presenting. Now to switch between different people, if there's a bunch of people underneath, you could just switch and then it will show their camera and then switch back if you wanna see yourself or whoever is talking, you could simply switch their name on and off here. You could go ahead and mute other people if you're presenting or unmute them. So I could see I could mute someone else, but they could do it themselves as well. That's a better option. In the middle, you have a chat option. So anybody could receive a message from you. If you use it right here, 
to send a chat. So I'll press hi and send it. And then everybody, including the meeting over here on the desktop, received it. Then there's I, where it shows you the meeting information. So this is where I saw meet.google.com slash, and that's the meeting code. So anybody ask you for a meeting code, that's what you would send them. And then sometimes you will ask for a pin, especially if you're dialing in. So anybody could have this number, use their phone, click it, dial that number, type in their pin and join the meeting from their phone. So not always does it have to be a video chat through this application. Anybody could join the meeting via a dial in and a pin number. And you have the share option where you go ahead and press that share with anybody. Let me go ahead and end this conversation. I'll press end press not now it brings me back to the home page anytime if someone is rejoining the meeting or they got disconnected there should be a rejoin option to the same meeting room i was just in and let me go ahead and turn off this camera and turn off this mic and anytime i could swipe up here to see previous or scheduled meeting if someone schedules me a meeting someone that invited me to one could schedule me and i'll see that over here but that's the gist of joining meetings on google meets now let me sign out of this one and I'll show you how to create your own meeting from scratch on this Google Meets application. Now when you sign in in this app with a paid version of Google G Suite, not just any Google account, you'll get a new option on the bottom that says new meeting or meeting code. Before we only had meeting code. So someone else with a paid account had to set it up. Now I'm gonna press new meeting to create my own meeting and then invite other people. So as you could see, my meeting is created I got the meeting code. That's the letters after meet.google.com slash. All those letters are the meeting code, what you would send to someone else. Someone could dial in and use this pin number to call in. Again, they won't have the video option of using this app, but anybody could call in. And then you could share the meeting info. You could just press that and share it. So now that I've created my own meeting, I have the same options as before. I could click my name up here. I could go ahead and turn on my camera. I could go ahead and mute and turn on my microphone, close caption, the three dots on top to switch cameras to front facing. All the options that I had before are here. The chat option is here. I could press I again to see the meeting code over here. As you can see, it's right on top this time. And if someone else joins me again, they'll appear on the bottom here where I could switch between people. Very straightforward. Anybody could present in this meeting. If you just let them take over here and just let them talk, mute yourself. So it doesn't matter who started the meeting, anybody could present and you could take turns presenting. And that's the gist of Google Hangouts Meet. Again, to recap, anyone for free could join a meeting with any Google account. Anybody could create a meeting if they have a G Suite account and anybody could dial in if they have the app or not using the dial in number and a pin number. And the limit for this is up to 100 people. If someone creates a meeting, up to 100 people could join on Google Hangouts, an entirely different application. The limit is 25. You won't have closed captioning. So this is more for businesses. The other one is for regular video conferencing for regular people, video chats. I hope you found this useful. I'm gonna give this app a four out of five only because of the confusion between Google Meets and Google Hangouts. And I think by the time they basically sort that out, it's gonna be a very solid application. But I have to always explain to people the difference between the two and why one is more beneficial than the other one. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up. I post app of the day videos multiple times a week and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.